Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and today I want to tell you about tank level monitoring and battery charge level monitoring in motorhomes and RVs. And in my model, this is the monitoring panel. And this is the way Winnebago does their monitoring panels and other control switches. And the one I want to center on is this one. And I think in pretty much all RVs, this is gonna look pretty much the same. You press the button here, the lights show up to show you the level of each item. And I kind of wish that when you push the button, it stayed on, just an on-off switch. But the way this one is designed, the lights will only show while you've got your finger on the button. And you can see the left one, the left column is the black tank. That's the sewer tank. And this is showing as one-third full. The second column is the gray tank, which is all the water drainage in the RV other than what goes down the toilet. The black tank is only what goes down the toilet. And you can see that it's full. These measurements here is E for empty, one-third, two-third, and full. So this looks like my gray water tank is full, but it's not. When it says full, it really means it's kind of close to being full. The only way it's really truly going to be full is when you start seeing water backing up into your shower or your sink. And the middle one that says fresh water, it shows as being one third full. Now that really means it's at least one third full, but it's not two-thirds full. So my freshwater tank is somewhere between one-third and two-thirds full. That when it's full, of course the full light is on, and then the two-thirds light, all four lights will be on when it's full. And then when it gets down below two-thirds, then the two-thirds light will go off and it'll say one-third so all you can tell is that you're somewhere between one-third and two-thirds full. And the fourth one is the LP gas tank, the propane. And that kind of works the same way. It shows being full, but once it gets down below the full sensor level, it'll show as two-thirds, but it still would be almost full. because these are not really accurate readings. All you've got is one-third and two-third in between empty and full. And there are three tanks that are not represented here. One is the diesel fuel tank or your, your gasoline tank. And then if you have a diesel, you also have another tank called the DEF tank which is the diesel exhaust fluid and then the third is your engine oil and those three gauges are up front at the driver's seat just like in any other vehicle but the main one that i want to concentrate on here is the batteries and this is showing the far right column that my batteries are full charge. But once the batteries get down to a certain level, which I don't really know what it is, that full light will go off and then it'll say two thirds. And then when the battery level gets just below two thirds, that light will go off and it'll say one third. So when you've got, you'll see the, 
the bottom one which is empty and then the one third which is the red is the bottom and the one third is yellow that's kind of a warning that you're getting low but when you've only got the one third light showing that doesn't mean you're down to one third it means you're at least one third so it's somewhere between one third and two thirds and when your battery level is critical because you're not plugged in to outside power it's really important to know just <laughs> exactly how much battery charge you have and just to know that it's at least one-third but it's not two-thirds that is a, a really huge range because two-thirds is like 66 percent so if it gets down to 65 percent the two-thirds light will go off and it'll just show one-third well you've got 65 percent left that's not one-third so all you can tell is that it's somewhere between one-third and two-third and so you don't know if it's just under two-thirds or if you're actually down to the one-third level and one-third is the lowest you would ever want to let your battery get it's recommended that you always have at least a 50 percent charge in your batteries or the batteries can get damaged or greatly reduce the life of the batteries but there is no 50 percent there so you can't tell if it's 50 percent so if you want a more accurate reading of your battery charge level you have to have a battery monitor which gives you an exact percentage and that is what this is it shows 98 percent charge and that'll go down to 97 96 you'll get an exact percentage all the way down to as low as it goes and that makes me feel really good when I'm looking at that one third light and I'm wondering geez how much do I really have left this tells me exactly how much I have left it'll say 38 it'll say 42 whatever and this is the 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 control panel for the battery monitor. Now the battery monitor is a device that is installed in the battery compartment. And this is just an interior display. So they're really two different things. You can actually have a battery monitor without using the display, but you definitely want the display. And motorhomes or RVs do not come with a battery monitor except maybe on some of the really high-end models so if you really want to have the comfort in knowing exactly what your battery charge level is you have to buy one of these and it's going to be several hundred dollars but it was worth it to me to have the comfort of knowing exactly what my battery charge level is because the large majority of the time I am not plugged in the outside power I'm just running off of batteries and another thing that this does is it shows that the inverter is working and if the battery is being charged by outside power this green charge light will come on there and you also have the ability to turn off the charger or to turn off the inverter. Now the charger and the inverter is in the same box. The inverter box, the charger is inside of the inverter box. So it's really one item, but they're two completely separate things inside that box. And this battery monitor display has many different features to it many things you can do all sorts of readouts it can also control when you want to start and stop your generator and other things like that which I really don't do 
but there's really only three readouts that I'm interested in in this battery monitor. This, you see the SOC, that's state of charge, 98% state of charge. And then this shows how many amps are going in or out, the net amps. And net means the amps going into the batteries less the amps coming out. So the amps going into the batteries is from the charger and the amps coming out is for whatever power you're using at the time. Now right now I am not plugged in the outside power but it does show that I'm plus 10. That means I have 10 more amps going in than I have going out. And that is coming from my solar panels. And this is my solar panel monitor. It shows that right now I've got 333 watts coming in from the solar panels and 24 amps coming in from the solar panels. So 24 amps coming in, this says 10. That means right now I'm using 12. I got 24 going in, 12 going out. I got a net of plus 10 amps. Now, I am going to turn on my toaster oven and you will see now it's minus 70. I'm going to turn the toaster oven off and now it's back to plus it'll work its way up back to plus 10. So when you turn on anything, you'll see the, the change. Any kind of device you're using, even, even turning on and off your lights. If I turn off my lights here, you see it's 10.8. Now it's 11.8. So these lights right here that I have on, it shows you exactly how many amps those lights are taking. And the third thing that I use is this one that shows the voltage of the batteries, 13.36 volts. And when you're using a lot of, of power at the time, or if your batteries are getting low, that'll get down to 12 or 11. So the only things I use on the readout here is the voltage, the net amps, and the state of charge. So if you have an RV where you're quite often relying on your batteries and you're not comfortable with this estimate, <laughs> a wide estimate of what your battery level is, then get you a battery monitoring system and even though it's going to cost you some money, the comfort really makes it worthwhile. Because I'm on a good day right now where I've got a lot of solar coming in. And last night I charged my batteries through an outside plug-in. Got them up to 100%. But on an average day, my state of charge will be 50, somewhere between 50 and 60%. If I'm charging my batteries just off of the solar panels and right now this is on Thanksgiving Day when I'm doing this which means that the Sun is very low it's the it's almost winter here and when the Sun is low you get a low amount of charge coming in from the solar I actually have 900 watts of solar on the roof but the most this will ever show coming in is 800 because the solar controller that I have can only handle 800 watts. But it's actually good to have more wattage solar panel than your controller can handle. And it's a perfectly clear day. 
if it was a cloudy day, that 335, it might say 35. <laughs> if you don't have much sun, then you're going to get very little coming in. So that's why it's kind of critical from day to day, depending on the weather and getting the solar to be the most efficient. So I hope this has helped you in deciding whether you're comfortable with just these lights, which some people call dummy lights, because they're really inaccurate. Get yourself a battery monitored system, and I think you will really like it. Good day, folks.